Welcome back. Earlier this week, retail sales were reported uh, to have risen uh, for the sixth straight month uh, this month in September. However, we're going to see in a moment uh, the real strength in the retail sales number uh, is actually uh, not as significant as we were led to believe. We can see here this is on a year-over-year -year basis uh, retail sales for this month up 2% following the prior month, 1.4, 0.5 before that. Going back to uh, February, uh, this is the highest high we've seen in you know quite a while. Taking a look at the different sectors, the dotted, the jagged dotted line over here, that's a gasoline station. This is all on a year-over-year -year basis, and that really had a precipitous drop, you know, coinciding with a weakening oil prices. However, oil prices uh, lately really did surge over the past couple months. Uh, we see the rest of the sectors are pretty much treading water just a little bit above or below zero. Now, we take a look at the real strength, 8.4% year over year on non-store retailers. We like to think of these as, you know, online shopping, things like that. Motor vehicle parts, uh, motor vehicle and parts year over year. That's up 6.2%. So these are the real strong points. So keep in mind, non-store retailers... Now, this is a breakdown of each sector as it contributes to the number. So remember, the bright spot was non-store retailers. Well, that's over here. This represents actually a very minor component of the overall retail sales number. The big number is the retail trade and food services, retail trade uh, excluding motor vehicles, retail trade excluding motor vehicles and gasoline stations, and the overall retail sales. So... Point being is that while the motor vehicle and parts sector, as well as non-store retailers, were the strongest parts of this report, as we can see, 8.4 and 6.2% respectively, these bright spots actually represent a very minor part of the overall retail sales number. Nevertheless, it did rise, but I would not say it rose on a tremendous amount of strength. Here's a red uh, histogram bar shows the overall retail sales average. It's on a year-over-year -year basis, again, 2%. Again, it is the sixth straight month of increase, the best number we've seen in about six months. But taking in consideration where we were, 2% is actually really not that good. We want to see levels near 10%. The blue line is the S&P 500. We can see, you know, obviously following the COVID crisis, stocks are very strong, coinciding with retail sales at the 10, 15% level. Above uh, zero is good, but it's really, it's only really above zero, this 2% uh, level. It's nothing really to write home about. Here's all retail sales versus a CPI. You can see there is somewhat of a positive correlation as inflation rises, so do retail sales. Maybe retail sales in part are calculated on a dollar basis. So if we're paying more for these goods, then maybe the retail sales number goes up. However, at the end of the day, we know, take a look at retail sales versus uh, the federal funds rate, and we can see a perfect negative correlation, meaning that when interest rates are very low, we, t see, we tend to see very good interest rates. Oh, I'm sorry, very good retail sales. But conversely, as interest rates rise, as they did in 2018, retail sales fall to the wayside. In fact, with interest rates where they are now, we can see retail sales is pretty reminiscent of where we were in 2019. And those are not fantastic numbers. So to recap, you know, we do see the six straight rise uh, in retail sales, and that on the surface is good. However, dissecting the number, it's, uh, you know, comprised of non-store retail sales, as well as, you know, motor vehicle parts, not huge components. It does give the Federal Reserve, uh, you know, more justification in a sense to raise interest rates, but I don't think it's a tremendously strong number. But we're going to continue to watch this and many others along the way. And we'll be sure to update you with any significant changes. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.